Hello guys and welcome back! Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install your own mods onto your favourite mod pack. Um, so if you're one of my uh, subscribers or you have watched my um, Let's Play series on Ticket Classic Reborn, you may notice things don't look quite as nice as they usually do. Uh, so uh, for example the windows are all like individual blocks and there's no shaders, uh, the grass isn't moving, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, when I'm moving around I'm looking very blocky. and all these features that uh, are missing are because mods that I usually use are not installed. The reason for that is I've just updated uh, the pack to the latest release and each time that happens I have to replace the mods that I usually add on top of it. So I thought, thought um, you know, I'll just take this opportunity uh, to teach you guys how to add extra mods onto any mod pack. Now this doesn't apply to just this mod pack that I'm playing, you can do this on any mod pack. So if you play on mod pack and you think it's missing uh, that certain feature that you wish it had because it would just make it complete, um, then this is how you do it. It's really really easy. Uh, I'm going to be showing you on the Technic launcher but you can do this on any launch you like. All you need to know is where the uh, the mod pack you're playing is installed, so you do, you do need to know where you installed it. So, for example, FTB gives you the ability to choose where it is that you um, do your saves, uh, whereas Technic pretty much just throws them all in the same place, so it's going to be very easy to find. AT Launcher also lets you choose where it is you install. So. Um, Bearing that in mind, um, as long as you know where the mod pack is installed, you be, will be able to use this tutorial now. I'm going to stop waffling on. Uh, so let's just get out of uh, this view here so we can get to my desktop. Uh, so let's close that down. Right, okay, so we're now in on my desktop here. So we've got uh, this mod pack installed here and we... Uh, the music's turned itself back on somehow. Oh, no, it's not. How's it doing that? It's, it's still doing it somehow, I don't know how it's doing it. Right, okay, so I'm going to close down the game. Uh, let's save and quit the title. So I've just got this mod pack. Uh, let's, let's, let's quit game. That's gone. Right, okay, so you are going to want this open when you are doing your installs because installing... Um, ooh, ooh, something happened. Okay, so yes, you're going to want um, your console uh, available when you're doing uh, ins installs of new mods uh, because sometimes when you add an extra mod into a mod pack it's not going to work and it's going to crash the game so you're going to want to know what happens so it's worth having this open um, I, like I said I'm doing this tutorial on the Technic launcher and the way you open up this console is you go to launcher options and just make sure the show console thing is ticked there uh, and that's all you need to do um, a few useful things to know in here as well is that you can change the amount of memory that is allocated to the game in this section as well and add on extra Java arguments which I don't bother doing uh, but yes you can choose however much gig it is once you get to add on there um, so now that you know how to open the console and technical launcher um, I'm not going to go into honor the launchers because I want this tutorial to be relatively short even though I tend to waffle a bit more than I should do on these tutorials I make them last a bit longer than they should uh, right okay so um, so, for example, it's very easy on this mod pack to uh, do updates. So, you can just go to the mod pack it is you want to edit. So, this one here, TCR Classic Reborn, is the one that I'm editing. But you would choose the whatever mod pack it is you are, you are doing your edits on, unless you are um, playing alongside with me on my uh, Let's Play and you have this mod pack as well. In which case, just do exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, so, click on Open. Now, that's going to open up this uh, this file here so you want to go down to mods this is so this is all the folders with inside the mod pack so what you want to do is go to mods and then um, this is where all the mods for the game are installed um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the mods that I want uh, to put on so what you would have to do is you would have to go and download mods so for example one of the mods I'm going to be adding here is Optifine so I'd go to Optifine Net and download the mod there or for example if you're on the Minecraft forum here uh, let's let this load for a second it's been a little bit slow uh, and you would go to the um, mod sections wherever it is that you want to download your mod from that, that's basically what I'm saying is you, you need to find your mod so for example on the downloads and Optifine um, and you need to make sure you are choosing one that applies to the version of Minecraft you're playing. So you're going to need to know what version of Minecraft the mod pack you're playing is using. So the one I'm playing on is a 1.7.10 mod pack. So I would have to download a compatible mod for that. So I'm going to get the latest version 
of Optifine uh, for 1.7.10, which is this one here. Uh, but enough of that. I've already got all of these downloaded in a file uh, called Extra Mods. Uh, oh. No, no, maybe I don't. Okay, um, so I'm just going to quickly download all of these mods. Uh, one second. Okay, so I've just compiled all the mods that I need to download. So you can see that here that I've had to go to various places to download these mods. Um, but yes, you want to just uh, compile all the mods that you want to add. Now, the safest way to do it is to add them one by one into the mods folder uh, in, in with all the other mods. Uh, so you do one, uh, try and launch the game, see if everything runs com um, uh, runs well and uh, is it compatible in, in the uh, console. Make sure there's no errors. Um, and then add the, close down the game, do it again. Um, but because I already know it all works, because I've done this before, uh, I'm just going to chuck all of these straight in. In fact, let me just undo that. I'm just going to save these. So I'm going to copy them in instead of just dragging and dropping so that I've got a copy for next time. Um, right, so I've just dragged all those in. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run the game. Uh, so all those mods will now launch with the game. So I'm going to click on play. And I'm going to get the console up here so that we can see uh, what's going on. So if anything does go wrong, then I'll point out how you can tell what it is that has gone wrong. Uh, if nothing goes wrong, then just ask me in the comments if you get any errors and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But it's usually pretty clear and obvious which mod it is that's gone wrong. Uh, but like I said, the safest way is to install the mods one at a time at launch the game. I know this is going to take a lot longer, but it's going to mean that if something does go wrong, when you drag, if, if you drag them all in one go, you're not going to know which one has done it if you don't know how to read the console properly. Uh, so the safest way is just to do it one at a time. If the game crashes, remove the last one that you installed and everything will run again fine. Uh, you just obviously won't be able to use that particular mod. Right, okay, so something's gone wrong here, so let's have a look at this. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so I was missing a mod here. I need creative core in order for one of these mods to work, which is, so that means that I have a mod missing. So sometimes mods uh, that you have installed rely on other mods to, uh, to work. So you can see this, class not found, exception, creative core. So I know that I'm missing a mod called creative core. So I'm gonna go find that mod now. So let's have a look here. Creative core. Uh, okay, that didn't work. So Minecraft creative core. Okay, so Creative MD. This is uh, the guy who makes the uh, physics mod that I use in in, in game. Uh, so he obviously uh, has made it require uh, another mod uh, to use the to use his mod. So I'm just going to download this. Like I did before, I'm just gonna put it in here, copy it, and then put it in with my mods. Okay, creative core. So we're gonna try that again, see if everything runs this time. Okay, so there we go. It's finally all loaded up. Uh, there were a few uh, random bugs in there, but um, I'm sure that'll be fixed in a in a future update. It just meant that the loading took a bit longer, uh, mostly something to do with uh, with Billcraft. But you know, I'm sure that'll be fixed in a future update. But the, the point is, the game has loaded. So I'm going to go back into the world. Uh, sorry, but I've got a million copies of my world there, uh, just for backups because I do various testing and and whatever. Uh, so let's go in the game. 
make sure that everything runs. Now this is uh, something to point out actually. Uh, not responding does not mean that your game has crashed. It just means that it's doing something. Um, so um, you know, not it doesn't mean that you know it's not worked. It doesn't mean that you know it's not going to work. It just means it's loading. Uh, something useful to have is a RAM monitor. So for example, this thing that I'm just dragging onto the screen now, this uh, tells me how the RAM is doing on my computer. Um, it just like tells you a bit of information. So it's good to have something on uh, display that's showing you if something isn't working or you know if, if if you've not got enough RAM. So if that was completely maxed out, if that said 100% uh, RAM on there, then I know that I don't have enough RAM on my computer to be able to do what it is I'm trying to do. Um, so you need to make sure that you um, your computer can handle the amount of mods you're adding on. So uh, don't just go and grab loads and loads of mods and throw them in and hope it's going to work. Uh, just do them one at a time and make sure the resources on your computer can handle what it is that's happening. So I'm going to go back into the game now. So as you can see, everything is loading up and it's starting so that, well, it's looking how I usually have it. Uh, so one second, I'm just going to uh, make this full screen. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so here we are in my wonderful world and everything is looking the way that it should do. Um, it, it might be a bit stuttery because the world's still loading at the minute, but uh, yes, that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any questions about installing mods or if you've got any problems, do let me know in the comments below it and I'll try my best to help you out. Um, but yeah, so my point is uh, that it's re really easy to do. You just need to know where it is your mod pack is installed, drag the extra mods you want into that folder, and then the, e the best and safest way to do it is to do it one mod at a time so you can tell when something goes wrong. Um, and just keep your eye on the console. It's, you're looking for keywords when things go wrong. You, you, you're looking for, you know, no exception found, or you know, so, something not found, or this is what crashed your game. It will usually be pretty obvious what it is that has gone wrong. Uh, so just keep your eye on the console, and everything should be okay. Um, you know, you might have a bit of trial and error. Things might go wrong the first few times you try this. Um, but, you know, trust me, you can get things to work as long as you keep your eye on that console. Make sure that you know um, what it is um, that you are installing so you can keep your eye out for those uh, those words. So the, the name of the mod or something within the mod. Um, or if it says something's missing, then you need to know what it is that that, that, that is missing. Uh, right, so yeah, I hope this tutorial has helped you guys. And uh, yeah, like I said, any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye.